Austin Schlottman, former Viking. Uh, so six foot six. He's really tall, guys. For us, a guy who plays interior offensive line and specifically center last year. Six foot six, three hundred pounds. I think he holds the Guinness World Record for tallest center in the NFL. <laughs> Maybe it's just that really is. If those guys don't, don't notice the typical metrics at that point, there that's the height of a tackle. Like tackles are typically that six foot three and up kind of range at that point. You know, your guards would be usually around six two to six four. You know, your your centers centers usually like six foot one six foot two <laughs> like they're not big tall guys because it makes it harder for the quarterback to see over them at that point he wants a clear view of the field imagine a guy like bryce young getting snapped from this guy <laughs> he'd be looking underneath his legs <laughs> why does the ball keep getting batted down by our own center <laughs> yeah because he's hitting the balls and then someone else <laughs> that- but <laughs> like I said he played center last year. Uh, he's played also both guard spots, though. He's pure interior offensive line help. Uh, had a 62.6 PFF grade there last year. So it's a guy that, again, at the worst case scenario, he's going to be a good depth piece. The best case scenario for him is he's a guy who's going to go ahead and become starting left left guard maybe because that's the one position i feel like is is really up for grabs but if let's say a certain young center that we'll talk about in a little bit happens to go ahead and struggle guess who's gonna be breathing down his neck this man right here schlotman you don't want schlotman down your neck (laughs) yeah but they must have loved the minnesota too there's a lot of like that's like a minnesota name it really is, it really is. right like it's like that's, that's not a minnesota <laughs> name i don't know what it is i don't know what it is but but yeah i mean overall the guy has played in 67 games he's had 14 starts overall uh two seasons in minnesota three seasons in denver so it's not just that he's played and he's moved around team to team to team. He's been in a couple of places for a couple of years there. He's gotten the chance to start at both, you know, both places there. So, but he has been a primary backup. So is it realistic to expect him to be a starter here with the giants? Probably not unless something goes wrong for us, but is he going to be a good backup in case someone gets hurt? Like they do every year. Yes. Even a team that's healthier, a healthy-ish team, let's say healthy-ish, they have a couple of injuries every year. This happens, guys. Yeah. And this it's is the guy of the game. step in and play. So, like I said, it's a good signing. It was, it was like a zero-risk move at that point. I like it. I'm all for it. I'm here. I'm here for it, man. That's where I'm at. So. Uh- Thanks for listening to Two Giant Goofballs, a New York Giants podcast. We appreciate your support. Thanks so much.